Sam, we all know that here in Vancouver, we're having a lot of immigrants, we're having a lot of international students. In your expert opinion, what tips you have in terms of networking? Because we know that here in Vancouver, it's all about networking, it's all about who you know, and but some people are not, uh, are not easy to go to networking events, or not, they are very extrovert, uh, introvert, and they're not easy when they go to events. So what tips you have for them in terms of networking? Now, fortunately, I, I can tell you that at Simon Fraser University, I teach at the International College. So my audience is a huge part of it is international students. I have also ment mentored and coached a lot of new immigrants in their business ideas and, and what they'd like to pursue. Uh, first and foremost is uh, I personally think, and this is just my view, that we need to reframe the word from networking to the word relationship building. Because uh, networking, I think, almost feels transactional. It's almost going to an event. Who am I going to meet? What am I going to get out of this event? And all relationship building, on the other hand, is more meaningful. Uh, it's about having engaging conversations and not looking for something out of this engaging conversation. And when I talk about relationship building, so it, it, it's looking at it from a different lens. And as a result of this, it allows you to be more comfortable going to these events. Like I always tell people, like if I was to go to an event or come to your house for dinner, is the first thing you're gonna ask me, what's the current economic trends as a result of COVID-19 and how can I move forward? Now, is that the first question you're gonna ask me? Or is the first question that you're gonna ask me is, Sam, how are you doing? And you know, how are you, you know, working through COVID-19 yourself? Or how, uh, what are some of the things you're working on? It's more of having that conversation. So let's try to focus on what I call relationship building and having these meaningful conversations. Uh, and, the, and you would be amazed at what will emerge as a result. The other thing I often say is listen and observe. In other words, it's easy for someone to ask the first question to say, you know, how are you today? And then you would say, well, I'm doing well. And, you know, and I'd be like, so what are some of the things you're working on? Very simple questions. And then you would tell me about your projects and things you're working on. Well, the benefit is now you give the opportunity to listen to that person and you can then respond back. So this conversation starts materializing because you're listening to what they say and it's more of a dialogue and eventually a friendship emerges or a relationship emerges that is far reaching. Yeah. And I always tell uh, to, to the people that I'm helping it, take whenever you go to any networking event, uh, you can ask what's your intent from this? Are you going to make a net uh, relationship? Are you selling yourself? Are you building relationship? It's always about building relationship because that's important part. That's how we remember people and also follow up after that, especially nowadays people are adding on LinkedIn after we meet, but follow up with that so that the conversation can continue. And uh, also, just, yeah. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, and oftentimes like I'll go to one to three events per week, not now, mm -hmm. but in the past, uh, when I go to these events and you have these engaging conversations, uh, in fact, with, with my conversations, there's no intent. In other words, we wind up having a really great conversation. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, we're like, oh, we'd love to, I'd love to carry this conversation in the future. And they're saying, yeah, no, let's, let's connect. And uh, next thing you know, on LinkedIn, we both will uh, send a personal message. And so many of my relationships have emerged as a result of just this authentic, genuine conversation. That's how we met, and I believe back in April, uh, back in January when there was a gathering at SFU, we met there also, and we continued the relationship. Now we are here doing this interview. Yes. Great. Again, th thank you for that, Sam. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave it in the comment section and tune in next time for another question with Sam.